I can't find anything. Ha I found it. Right there. Yeah. Mm. Mm. We have been having a super lazy day at home today. It was raining all night, and so we woke up to a beautiful rainy day. And now we're coming to the public library. Ooh, the public library. And we've never been here before. So we're so excited. We haven't been to the public library here. Um, so we're excited to get some books. I, I think it's story time right now, so we're trying to hurry. Come on, guys. I think it's story time. Now we gotta go this way. I mean, you're going to miss it. Okay, we're trying to find some books that we looked up on the catalog. Let's see, yep. What kind of book are we looking for, Piper? Yeah, but I think it's a little bit further down. Last name. Last name, Oh yeah, you see something? I can't find anything. Fairies, princesses. Ha ha, I found it. Look, see she's a mermaid. Mermaid book, check. Yeah. yeah. All right, you are good to go. Great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey guys, you ready? What are we doing with the book? We gotta. We have to tell them we have these books, and then they tell us when to bring them back. Good job. Okay, look, I found a polka dot Y right there. Here it is. Mom, were Again. you gonna read this to us? Yeah. So the library was fun. Um, these kids are not really used to going to the library. We don't go that often, I'm sad to say. But it was fun and, and we got a lot, a big stack of books and a library card. So we're excited to go back. Are you eating Piper? No. But it was funny because Porter just wanted to like be on the computers or like playing with toys. Wow. And it makes me sad. I have not been a very good mom when it comes to reading stories to my kids every night. The doctors, like whenever you go to the doctor for your kids checkups on their like, on their little paper they give you of like tips or whatever and, and things they should even... Uh oh, what happened? Um, I find it. Hey, can you say sorry? Sorry. Perfect, yeah, that's good. Um, anyway, they always say to read to your kids every, every day and I definitely don't do that. Maybe you read to them like once a week. Sorry, I know that's so terrible, but I'm trying to be honest because I hope I'm not the only person who's terrible at reading to their kids. But hopefully this library card and getting all these books will help us because it's so fun. Okay, we're back anyway. We're back from there and we are going to make some pizza and eat lunch and then take a nap. No, not pizza. Yeah, I chose pizza. Aww, pizza pepperoni pizza. Yeah, pepperoni. You don't like pepperoni, so. Huh? Yes, I do. <gasps> you want to read your mermaid book? Yeah. What happened to your head? Okay, naps are over. Pink, and what? You see something that's pink? Oh, cool. Um, naps are over. They were a little short today because we got, we had to wake up to go take Porter to choir class. During Porter's choir practice, me and Piper like to go get a treat. So we are off to get a treat. What do you think, Piper? You want to get a treat? Yeah. Yeah. Me too. The question is, do we want to get french fries like we got last week that were so good, or do we want to get ice cream? Let's see what ice cream they have here. Do they have anything else? This is where we came last time and it was so yummy. Do you, do you care which one? Pink or white? <laughs> Mob strawberry. Is it cold? Right there. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Strawberry. We got our french fries. Guys, these are legit good. This place is cute. Second time we've been.
in here. Last time we didn't get a scoop of ice cream, but I'm happy we did. It's really good. It's right on Center Street in Provo. It's called like Bruges Waffles and Frites. It's, I think they said it was like a, a street food for Belgium or in Belgium. So anyway, it's yummy. I haven't had anything else except their french fries and ice cream, but so far so good. I'm kind of picky when it comes to french fries. Oh, and they have all these different kinds of yummy sauces that you can put your fries in. Right. Okay. Okay. Right across the street from where we just ate is the LDS temple here in Provo. There's actually a couple here in Provo. This one's pretty new, um, but it's just gorgeous. And so we'll come over here. We have a couple more minutes to kill, so we're, we're just walking across the street to hang out in the, on the gorgeous temple grounds. Check it out. You didn't like it, did you? Yes. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, that's good. She's so I have to, Zach just got home, like barely, but I have to go help Katie with this like video project with a singing group that she's in. So I have to run off now. But anyway, this is the end of our day. I mean, it's not the end of the night, but. These two are so cute. Yeah, these two are being so silly. Yeah, super silly. <laughs> Piper, don't play with that. Okay, bye. I'll be back. See ya. I just got home from um, helping Katie, my sister Katie, out with her acapella group, doing a little video for them. And I realized I didn't even vlog any of it. I was like kind of all business the whole time. So here's a couple of clips from their little rehearsal that I am helping them do a video for. I hope you guys like it. Never can I repay thee, Lord, but I can. They so great, they're so cute. I wish I had an acapella group like them that I could be a part of because I would love that so much. <sighs> anyway, it is pouring outside and it's a really fun little storm we're getting. Um, so I better go inside and get all cozy with my husband who I haven't seen for a while. I miss him, that's, the, that's like the one thing right now um, just about the program is that he is gone all day, all afternoon. Um, he leaves before I really wake up and he usually gets home like right when the kids are going to bed. So. And then he has lots of homework, and so, I don't know, I miss him. I'm gonna go say hi to him and snuggle with him. We'll see you guys tomorrow, bye!